Yo, what's up guys? Zach here from CodyMadeSimple.com. This is going to be a fun video. Uh, it's the number one question I always get from my subscribers is, how did you teach yourself how to create your own video games, right? So what steps did you actually go through? Uh, was it, you know, what kind of books did you read? What kind of courses? What's your education like? Uh, these types of things are always asked and I want to make a video giving you guys a tour through my journey. So I'm hoping that I have the same story as some of you guys, right? So I was seven years old. Uh, I was in, uh, you know, just a neighborhood and I had all of my, you know, friends that kind of lived in the same neighborhood as me. And I actually started developing these games with my friends, right? So uh, we, we would go to their houses, you know, I would like take a, a Mario character, like an action figure, and I would put him on the ground and then I would have my friend stand there. And if you wanted to go this way, he would have to run in place and I would literally move the action figure with him, right? So if he wanted to turn around, he'd have to move his body around. The action figure would move that way, right? If he wanted to jump, he'd jump whole sorts of levels and everything. I know I had like 50 levels, then all my other friends wanted to play this. So I had to memorize the levels that I went through. And you know, like there was like different secrets that I was literally coming up with on the fly. It was so fun at the time. I think that is what really set in stone that I wanna create video games. So I was nine or 10 years old when I was surfing through, you know, the internet and just, you know, looking at video games and stuff like that. And I actually came across, and I remember it very, very strongly to this day, uh, Game Maker, and it was Game Maker 7. And I saw it, and I actually almost didn't download it. When I was looking at it, I got very like frightened. Like it looked like this huge thing. Like there's no way I could do like the stuff that they're doing here. And at this point, I had no idea how video games existed. I I had some illusion that if every single frame in the game was captured and was a picture and then it would all it was all put in order it was like this whole thing that i thought it was completely wrong and i almost didn't download it until i went onto youtube and i searched a video for it and if i can find the video i will put something right here if i can't then uh then nothing will be there uh, but there was this video game maker tutorial how to create a fighting game and i watched this video there was no commentary or anything on the video and it completely blew my mind, right? I was like, wow, you can create a fighting game here. I started thinking up ideas, uh, you know, like uh, I, I can make, you know, like this this whole thing. And it was absolutely amazing. So I went and I downloaded Game Maker. Uh, it was Game Maker 7 at the time. And uh, I downloaded it and I started creating some really crappy games. Uh, here you're seeing actually the first video I ever posted on YouTube. It wasn't on this channel. This was a game called Dead Ambush. So I made a Let's Play of my Dead Ambush 2 game on this channel, and it was based off of that one directly. So that was one of the first games I ever made, and then I put onto YouTube as well. So that was really cool. Now, how did I learn how to do this stuff, right? So what books did I read? Uh, you know, what, did I go to college? Did I go to Harvard and get like all this stuff? In actuality, no, I didn't. I literally started out watching YouTube videos. I was watching YouTube videos, how to do certain things. And you know, I'm not going through documentation and just, you know, endlessly reading this documentation. That might work for some people. It bores the heck out of me. What I like to do is I like to get into the software, come up with an idea and try and figure out how to make that idea work. How do I actually, if I want water in my game and I want to make it realistic water, right? Okay, I'm not going to know how to do that right off the bat, uh, unless I've done it before, and in which case I'm saying if this is the first time you've ever tried this, you're going to go out and you're going to research and you're going to learn how to do it yourself, right? I think that's the most effective part of learning, and that's what I do with my Game Maker Studio 2 course, where we're actually making a complete game, and why I like to put challenge logs into that game as well. It gets your mind turning, and it gets you to, okay... I know I don't know everything here, so but let me research it and I can figure it out. And that's a lot of what I've been doing these last you know nine, ten years. Was if I want to do something, especially in so much blood, there were some things that I didn't know how to do uh, with surfaces. How am I going to use like this huge surface in a room uh, with tons of blood? Or you know like it's not going to be efficient. So how can I do this right? So I start you know thinking up ideas and and, and researching and doing all sorts of stuff and eventually you get what you want out of it. So that I think is the most effective way of learning and that's what I've been doing the last nine to 10 years. I actually created this YouTube channel when I was 14 years old and uh, I created this channel because 
I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't figure out how to do something I wanted to do. I wasn't on YouTube and that was like my main source of like how do I do stuff with Game Maker. And I'm looking around and there's not a lot of stuff and these people aren't putting out great content. Like, you know, there were people back then uh, like Wizardy. I don't know if anybody knows him or um, the Retry This. That was another one. Uh, another YouTuber that I look up to I think they're long past YouTube now I don't think they make videos anymore but those were some of my first inspirations to saying okay I can do this I know enough to start creating a YouTube channel and start teaching other people and that's actually how my name uh, was was come up with was I searched YouTube all these tutorials were really bad I said I could do it better let me make some real Tots. That's where it is right there. Let me make some real tutorials on how you can actually go about uh, creating this. So um, what I did was I made the YouTube channel Real Touch GML for Game Maker Language, and here we are today. Over 40,000 subscribers. I thank you guys a lot every day for this, and uh, of course more videos are on the way. I'm really excited. Some new stuff with Cody Made Simple, and I want to start up uh, some really cool live streams as well in the near near future. So. Thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Visit CodyMadeSimple.com to learn more. Peace.